Hey there everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to flip aspect ratio so you can take 16 by 9 horizontal footage and make it 9 by 16 vertical footage or any aspect ratio uh, you can take the numbers and swap them. And you might be thinking, one, why is this so difficult? You just take the resolution numbers 1920 by 1080 and you swap them? Well, it turns out that this isn't actually the complete story and it's going to lead to some issues so we're going to talk about that. And two, you might be wondering what is the use of this? Why would you ever want to flip an aspect ratio? Well, a perfect example of this is phone video which you can either film landscape 16 by 9 or vertical 9 by 16, like I did in a recent uh, video. I filmed this footage and I wanted to track it and add some CG to it. So first of all, let me show you the final result. Walking on the road, walking on, oh look, a do not pass sign. Don't mind if I do pass. Oh, uh, can I, uh, sir, can I, can I? And now let me tell you the story about this shot. So I tracked it, everything worked out perfectly. It was actually my first time tracking vertical video and I was happy. I'm like, wow, it turns out you can track it. It's not that difficult. But when I took this and imported it into Blender, I ran into some issues. So you can see right here, I had a good track, but in Blender, it doesn't seem to be interpreting it correctly. And you might be thinking, oh, of course, in Blender, you're still in a 16 by nine aspect ratio. It's horizontal, even though it's supposed to be vertical. So I took the resolution numbers. I swapped them exactly like you'd expect. And this is what happens. So we are vertical now, nine by 16, but the track is somehow incorrect. So there's something that is missing and is nuanced here. And it took me a long time to actually figure out what that is. So as a hint, let's take the background video, that which is projected in the background, and let's make it a bit bigger. So I'm gonna scale it by 1920 divided by 1080. In other words, the aspect ratio 1.778. And you can see that when I do this scaling, all of the sudden the vertical thing, it's still vertical, is now tracking correctly, uh, but with a bit of loss of information. It's kind of scaled in on the frame it doesn't have the whole thing. So the question is, how do we kind of scale our camera accordingly, kind of doing the same thing so we now have the complete footage? Well, your first instinct might be, okay, well now we can mess with the focal length. We can kind of zoom out this camera more. And yes, this does kind of contain all the trackers inside of the shot. But now, even though the track looks correct, it is a tiny bit off and you've changed how much you're zoomed in and out. That's gonna mess with things. So this is not correct. It turns out that the setting I was looking for and you are looking for to flip aspect ratios is the sensor size. So you go to the sensor size, you swap this thing to vertical. That, that's it. So to swap an aspect ratio, you not only need to swap the resolutions, which we already knew that's one, uh, but two, you need to uh, swap the sensor size to be vertical instead of horizontal. And this solves the issue. Now this thing contains the entirety of the footage. The track works. You can add your CG. And uh, this is just a video I wanted to include because it was driving me crazy. And I don't know if anybody's made a, a tutorial on this. So hopefully uh, somebody found this useful and I'm gonna be tracking more vertical phone video because it looks more found footagey. I think.